Hey guys, it's Drift. What's up? And in today's video, we're going to be covering a TVT 2 base all in. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Drift. Welcome back. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Uh, they've been getting a lot more momentum in terms of viewership lately, and I'm just really appreciative of the support I've been getting and the general excitement about them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. So on to um, talking about this build. This is a really fun build. It is a TVT2 Ace tank push, tank Viking push. And I feel like this build is really great for lower level players who are afraid of like full macro right now. I think just playing a two base style is just an easy way to grind up mechanics. That's my personal feeling, uh, feelings at least about it. Uh, so anyways, this build starts off 16 racks, 16 gas. I like to scout with the 17th SCV. And so with this build, just know that if, if your opponent is able to scout it um, and they react pro properly, they should be able to hold it. So this isn't like a standard build. Again, this is kind of a fun build, a two base all in. It's not really meta, but just know that it's something that you can do. Especially if you don't want to have a long TVT. So with your 17th SCV, you're just looking to see if they're going double gas, if they're proxing you, or if they're going Reaper Fast Expand. And if you see it's double gas, I'll show you how you can react to double gas. If it's proxy Reaper, you pretty much actually just cancel your natural, build two bunkers, pull an SCV to pair with the Reaper, get a gas and get a factory. So that's your reaction to Proxy Reaper when you play Reaper Fast Expand. Okay, with the SCV that scouted, you can have it come back and then build the bunker for you. Just like that. Reactor Refinery. So I'll show you what to do right here if your opponent goes double gas. This is just like a little trick you can do. You'd put one SCV in the bunker. Like so. Pull the units up to the high ground and pull the SCV at the natural up as well. So it looks like something's inside the bunker. As you can see, the lights are on. But then if they jump up the high ground, because there's nothing in the natural for them to kill, if they jump up in the high ground, that's the most likely place to do it, and you would shoot their units before they get there. Once your units are out, you can safely go back to the natural. Again, this isn't a requirement, it's just something I do to stay safe. I think I picked it up from Time, a Chinese player. Okay, so Tech Lab on both the Factory and Starport after you get the Hellion. Start up a tank. You're skipping Cyclone, and it's a little unsafe to do that. In fact, it's very unsafe if they go Banshee. But the reason we're doing it is because we're doing a tank push. So, a bit of a coin flip, but hopefully it pays off. Get your gas at your third as soon as you can basically is the rule. And then after you get that gas, get another gas. Why are we getting so much gas? Because this build is extremely tech heavy. Behind this, you're getting more Marines and more tanks. At some point you may notice that um, do you feel like you're going to get supply blocked even though you've been building depot, like a depot constantly? At that point, you just make two depot builders, or have two depot builders, rather. So with this build, we're only going to get one raven. The reason for that is because we want vikings, and the one raven's just, it has a job. It's to disable tanks in key positions that lets us break through. That's the whole raven's job with this build.
So we're gonna add on swap after our first raven, start up Vikings, get stim. And if you notice, we haven't taken a third base yet. That's because we've gone for really tech heavy options with this build order, and we're going for a timing. So while it's not very economic, um, at least our build has got a specific plan, which is to push out around six minutes with four Vikings and about four tanks and a bunch of bio. Around 5.30, you'd get two barracks, which is very rare in TVT. I think, I think before you get your third command center, I think it's best to get double eBays because your upgrades are extremely late. You can also cut SCVs at 46. I don't know why I didn't do that this game. Um, I think it's a little more efficient with your timing if you do, but uh, I guess this would be less committed. So as you can see, it's about six minutes. We've got our four Vikings, four tanks, and a bunch of bio. We're gonna go out for our timing. You can be kind of creative with how you push. Like, you don't have to push his third. You can also go to his natural and push like from the side as they're taking their third, and their units might be out of position. If Especially if they don't have map vision, you might be able to abuse that. I think with this build though that it's important that you scan at some point, which I didn't do, but scan to see if they're doing the same thing, because nothing gets more awkward if you have a base race in TVT. And I think having some general map vision might also help as well, which I did not do. Shame on me. Be better than me, chat. I don't know why I called you chat. I guess I'm too used to streaming. <laughs> But uh, anyways, yeah, that's pretty much the build behind it. You get your third command center, get combat shields, get upgrades. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to meet and talk with me more or anyone else in the community, join my Discord. The link will be in the description. I also stream just about every day, five days a week. So I'd love to meet and hang out with you there. And uh, final thing is I just got a merch tour started. So if you feel like supporting the stream and maybe getting some apparel, um, I have some neck apparel specifically or my logo then i would I really appreciate that support anyways guys thank you so much i'll see you guys next time and bye bye